A weeding box is a shape that you create in design space and you attach it around either an individual word, a sentence, a paragraph to make it easier to weed later on. So to start, I'm going to select the shape button and create a square. I like to use the square with the sharp edges and not the round edge square. Once you click the shape, it will come onto the canvas. From here, I'm going to go to the top toolbar and use the unlock button. Once the shape's unlocked, you can drag it out into a rectangle. Now you want to be able to cover the text with this box, but it doesn't need to be really gigantic. So I'm just trying to make it large enough to cover the text and not overlap with any of the other lines of text. Once you have your first shape created, you can come over here to the right hand side in the layers panel and use the duplicate button to create another box. You may have to resize the box. So once again, come up to the top and unlock the shape and then drag it to be a little bit smaller. You don't want it overlapping with any of the other text lines. We're going to repeat that same step and duplicate it two more times so that we have enough for the last two parts of text. This one here needs to be resized, so we'll unlock and drag it. Once you have all of the different boxes created, you're going to want to weld them together. To do that, select any one of the boxes and hold down shift on your keyboard and select the remaining boxes. Once all four layers are selected, you'll see they change colors here in the layers panel. At the bottom of the layers panel, we're going to use the combine button and weld them together. This will just make it one solid piece. From here, I'm going to change the color to make it a little bit easier to see and arrange it and send it to the back. Now the last step that you want to do is attach the weeding box to the letters. So with both layers selected, you're going to come down to the right hand side of the layers panel once more and click the paperclip attach button. Now once it's cut, we'll be able to take this backing off and reveal just the text. This will help stop the vinyl from sticking to the other letters and will reduce the chances of you losing a letter. I'm using Smart Vinyl, so I'll select without a mat. Since this isn't iron-on vinyl, I don't need to mirror it. I find this is a more helpful tool when I'm using permanent vinyl versus iron-on vinyl. I'm going to be using one of Cricut's new materials. This is removable vinyl in the metallic color. All material settings are unique, so I'm going to find the corresponding material by clicking the Browse All Material button and then searching for metallic. So here's the Smart Metallic. We're going to load the fine point blade into clamp B. This is the right hand side clamp and is always for blades. The fine point blade is the one that comes with your machine. Make sure it's all the way down before you close the door. Next, you're gonna click the flashing button to load the material. Once it's measured to make sure that there is enough and it checks that the proper blade is in, the start button or the go button to start cutting will start to flash. If you're using the roll holder, you wanna make sure that you're cutting that vinyl first before unloading. Thank you.
without the weaning box, it still wasn't horrible, but it's a little bit harder to keep track of what letters are falling off as you're going. Also, a lot of the little dots are missing. So on the question marks and on the eyes. It's also harder to look through this piece for anything that might have been left behind. There's a T right here that's still left and a couple of the little circles are still on this original sheet. But with the weeding boxes, it was a lot easier to see one letter was missing and also to keep it down.